what is going on beautiful people welcome back it's your boy blue another day another adventure and we're gonna try something a little bit different today uh we're gonna try a train simulator yeah this is a uh, train sim world 2020 uh on the pc and uh we're gonna give it a try i want to see how i like it uh, i'm gonna go over here to journeys and i've already done a few you know uh, routes and things to kind of get the hang of the game uh, but uh, we'll go ahead and continue current journey and uh, continue with the uh, Great Western something what was it called <laughs> the Great Western tour or something whatever it's called Express that's what it was you've been called into cover for a driver who's been delayed on another service you're needed to take the train out to Reading where the driver will continue the service as scheduled all right cool cool so we're at the main platform Hello, sir. What's going on, buddy? And uh, I guess the scenario is I'll be filling in, basically substituting for another driver who's uh, stuck at another uh, train station because of a delay. Something like that. So we'll, uh, we'll be taking control of uh, this baby here. But uh, yeah, I love the fact that uh, I, I mean that you get to walk around the train station. Like I, I like that you can kind of explore it on foot. Um, and there's really no boundaries uh, of where you can go. You can kind of go anywhere to map is available looks like right now we're at london paddington and uh we're driving the gwr i don't know what series train this is but uh, i believe it's a high speed train this will be my first trip with it up until this point i've only been uh basically driving the slower trains but uh this is gonna be all right today very nice very great looking train station out here you see that train over there that's what i've been driving up until this point uh so this is my first time getting to drive right getting to, to drive the big boy the the fast machine here uh that other train is pretty darn slow i think the fastest it can get up to is about 90 miles an hour this big right here is supposed to be able to get to 125 so let's go ahead and jump to the inside and uh <laughs> it gets to it shall we all right so we'll hop in the seat here Beautiful. All right, prepare the train. Set the headlights to day and reverses to four. It's gonna be over here. I think that's it. Is that it? Yeah. And in reverse or forward. All right. Cool. Cool. Uh, press tab to bring up the dispatch menu. Cool. I didn't. I honestly didn't know I could do that. That's very helpful. How do I get it over there? Okay, come on, unlock. <laughs> this thing is being weird. I don't understand what you want from me. Wow, like where is the click spot? Oh, there we go. Oh, it's because I was holding tab. Okay, I got you, I got you. Okay, so I think that should be opening the doors now. Let me see. Yep, doors are open. Yeah, I don't know if anybody's getting on. Can I go inside? Oh, I can't. Ooh, can I? I can put. I can put the camera inside. Okay, cool. So we're gonna load up passengers. If anybody wants a ride, oh, so I believe we're going to Reading or something like that. But yeah, man, this is cool. It, it looks, it looks pretty, pretty good. I mean, the graphics could be a little bit better. It's not like photorealistic. At least not the, not the building textures. The, the trains are a bit better quality than the actual scenery itself. Uh, so you know, it could use some work. And I've, I've definitely noticed some other weaknesses in the graphics in other routes that I've done. And um, I'll point them out as I see them. But I mean, for the most part, it looks pretty good. It looks way better than any other train simulator I've uh, given a look or a try. So I'm not upset. I'm completely new, I will say. Let's see. We're going to close those doors again. Lock left. I like that. Right, go away. Go away. Uh, can we go now? Set the train brakes to running, okay. Okay, that's all the way back. What now? Signal permitting, apply power to get going. All right, we do have a green signal, so that means we can go. I guess we're all good to go. So we'll go to, uh, we'll get a slow roll. I'll start in like a throttle three, I guess. I don't know if that's too fast. You guys can tell me if, <laughs> if I'm doing anything wrong. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm new to this, so. Um, if I'm doing anything wrong, let me know. It's like he's leaving the station as well over there out of, uh, is that 9? Nine? 9 or 10? Yeah, he's rolling faster than me. I guess we can go faster then. And he's in a slow train. But as I said, I'm completely new to this whole train simulator 
thing. <laughs> Completely new to it. I know really nothing. Like, I'm coming into this knowing nothing. This is my first game of the series. I know Train Sim World has a bunch of uh, other versions, um, but this is my first. Stop a location reading or reading by 1955. It is now 1931. That gives us, what, 20 ish minutes to get there? And we're racing right now. <laughs> you know me. I'm always going to be racing. Any chance I get. Oh, yeah, we're rolling too. Very nice sunset over London right now. Beautiful. I'm loving it. Very nice. I found out the other day how to hide all the UI. Oh, I was so happy. <laughs> oh, snap. We're speeding. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're already speeding. I 50. No, 40. 35? 40? I don't know. Either way, we're going too fast. That's why we're beating him because he's going to speed limit like a good, like a good driver. Might nice, so we'll slow it down. I'm probably gonna lose some XP or some points. I don't really know what the penalty is for speeding. Like, do I lose my license? Do I get fired? Do I go on probation? Like, what what happens if you speed? We're still speeding. I'm trying to slow down. Like, we're idle right now. I'm trying to, I'm trying to slow down. I guess I gotta put some brake in. I uh, know the speed limit is going to change here in a, in, a, in a little bit. Alright, we'll let it roll from here. I think that train is still behind us. But oh, we dusted him. <laughs> we were speeding. We were, we were speeding, but we definitely dusted him. Anyways, <laughs> this is not a racing simulator, Blue. Chill out. Alright, let's give it some power. Like our new speed limit is 45. We just kind of slowed down too much is what happened there. But uh, yeah, I've, I've heard some really bad reviews, honestly, about this game. And I was very uh, not sure about buying it for myself. I was like, wow, the reviews are horrible. Like, <laughs> I don't think it's a good idea. But a lot of the reviews were coming from people who were already a part of the series. Like people who played, you know, 2019 version, 2018 version. And uh, like you know, not liking some of the support from the devs, some of the broken promises from the devs, like which is a really bad sign to be honest with you. And it kind of makes me wonder how deep do I want to get into this game? Like if I actually do enjoy this um, after giving it a try for a little bit, if I actually do enjoy it, is this some, is, is this a simulator that I want to stick with uh, for a while? Because if so, you know, and they don't have good support, if they're not, you know, the developers are not really doing what the community wants, then I'm just gonna be frustrated just like them. There's a train. I don't know, it just kind of makes me hesitant, you know. Um, but so far, so far I have, and again, I'll tell you, you know, you know me, I'm going to tell you if I don't like something. But uh, so far I, I'm okay. Like, I'm not like blown away by the game. And again, this is not a review, by the way. I'm just telling you guys kind of what my, my experience is uh, here is on, on my first few routes. But... I'm not blown away by the game, but it's definitely, you know, it's 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 all new to me. Um, it's kind of what I expect. Why are you going faster than me now? Oh, because the speed limit went up. <laughs> Alright, you got I got this. Let's go. Max. Okay, I'm just kidding. I won't be that guy. I'm gonna I'm gonna try not to be that guy. It's gonna happen though someday. I'm gonna be that guy. <laughs> I, I'm gonna be the A380 of the flight sim community you know what i'm saying like you know the people who just want to fly a380s and do and go fast and do maneuvers and stuff like that like i don't want to be that troll guy um for the train sim world people so i'm going to try to keep it as realistic as i know because i don't know much <laughs> but i do know there's a speed limit and i know that you wouldn't just go max throttle for no reason um i know again i've been driving that train up until this point and i know that thing goes at max of 90 uh, 90 uh miles an hour we can get up to 125 uh, speed limit is actually not. I think it's a hundred right now. It looks to be. So we'll see. We'll see what happens.
but yeah so far I've enjoyed it as a newcomer to the game I've enjoyed it so far um, but I still haven't explored everything so I'm kind of going through the journeys going through the tutorials right now and I'm, I'm enjoying the t tutorials I feel like that they do a good job of walking you through how to operate the trains like I'm the kind of person who wants to actually start the train up like I want I want to start the engine myself I like, got something I'm interested in doing I want to turn the lights on I want to turn like you know I want to have access uh, to everything I want to be able to control everything and so far I've been able to do exactly that and I uh, like that I also love kind of like the world feels like it's living like it's breathing you can see the trains going back and forth we have a train ahead of us uh, who's just overtaking us we have trains going back the opposite direction you know speed limits are changing you'll see cars going up and down the road uh, one thing that I I haven't seen is um, you know like people like human people on the railroad tracks actually maybe like doing maintenance and things like that but maybe they have it I just haven't seen it yet um, but they do have passengers and I do love that you can actually see the passengers boarding and uh, disembarking the trains there we go yeah what you got for me uh-huh see ya <laughs> uh, but uh, I do like that I like that a lot actually I think that's a really cool feature I think that's a feature that a lot of the older train simulators that I used to look at and see were missing was like that whole like actually having real people um, you know getting on and off the trains people actually waiting at the stations um, it's really cool like people actually have somewhere to go it feels like and I like that so we're 29 miles away and we got to be there in about 1955 I hopefully will be all right on time but uh first time driving the high-speed train out here in Great Britain and uh, so far it's kind of cool I'm looking forward to getting to that 125 there's another one right there if you have your headphones on uh, you could probably hear just that whoosh that goes by like it's I remember when I was on the train I haven't been on many trains but I was on the train when I was in New York City um, it wasn't a high-speed train it was more like a subway type of train but it's like above ground if you're from that area you kind of know what I'm talking about but uh, I don't know why I got a New York accent so when I said talking about. <laughs> but uh, I remember like being on the train. Like, I was just sitting on the window, you know, looking out, like kind of experiencing it. Because I don't, we, we don't have that out here where I live. We don't like trains are not a prominent thing where I live, and uh, like it's it's more about driving, having a car. You know, you can take a bus, uh, you can take uh, a plane <laughs> somewhere from you know the big airports, but. A train is not really one of the main primary uh, uses of transportation, even though we did just implement a, uh, what they call it, a monorail, or whatever, uh, metro rail. Um, so that, that goes inside the city, but I'm just a little bit outside of the city. But anyways, to continue my point, uh, I was just kind of riding the train, just kind of experiencing it, like kind of for my first time. It's kind of like, you know, hearing the sounds, like it's crazy loud going through the tunnels. Uh, I'm really curious like, if this game simulates that. I hope it does. I haven't gone through any like uh, any tunnels real fast yet, but uh, I don't know. I don't know if it does. I if it does, that'd be great. That'd be amazing. Uh, I would love to. I would love to hear that loud sound going through the uh, the way that the air vibrating off the sides of the train and, and just kind of vibrating back and making this crazy loud echo as you go through the tunnel, even with a horn off. Speaking of horns. <laughs> I had to do it. I had to do it. Uh, but yeah, I was just experiencing that. Like, and, and I'm hoping that they capture those things in this game. They, they, maybe, maybe they didn't. Again, I'm new to the series. I don't know what the level of detail, the dovetail, goes into on Train Sim World 2020. I don't know. I don't know um, how close uh, to de like how realistic things are, really. Um, so I don't know. That maybe there's another train simulator out there that's even more realistic than this. Uh, I don't know. Again, if you guys are, are in this train simulator commu uh, world community, you know, let me know what's what's going on out there. Because again, I'm completely new. Show me how to do things. Show me the ropes. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm liking. It. I like the graphics. Love seeing that sunset over there. I love the different scenarios. Pretty cool. Uh, but I'm wondering, like, what do you do? Like, how long does a game like this last for a person? Like, do you get bored eventually? Like, do you run out of routes to do? Do you just do, like, a free roam, create your own routes? Like, what's the end game go of a game like this? Uh, like, what what do you do? Like, because there's, there's a lot of... It's honestly, like, if you have all the DLC, there's a lot of uh, scenarios and routes and, and journeys you can do. So I honestly can't imagine myself finishing all of them. Uh... I can't. I can't imagine myself finishing all of them. 
but I feel like there's plenty to do as long as they continue to come out with DLC. Uh, one thing I did see in one of the comments that kind of bugged me was that people were complaining about this game, uh, basically how they copied this game from the last game. Let's go ahead and bring our speed back too. We're about to hit 125. I'm going to idle here. Uh, how basically this game was a copy and paste of the last one. Uh, they added maybe a couple routes maybe added in the DLC from the old game, but then charge you for a whole new game, like, with new graphics. I'm like, well, that's unacceptable. Uh, so, best believe me, that's the way they do things. And uh, if that's the way it's going to be, like, in the next game, like, if I'm interested still in this, and I want to play the next game, I'm definitely not going to be buying the same game twice. Like, this is not NBA 2K. Like, I, <laughs> I'm not going that route. Heck no. No, sir. That's not going to happen. But uh, anyways, I don't want to talk too about all the negative, but I'm just saying that, like, I mean, the, 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 the comments and, and everything I saw, the reviews about this game, really kind of deterred me from it. Um, so I'm kind of taking a look at it for myself for the first time. But Train Sim, though, I, I've always kind of been interested in trains. Trains have always been kind of some this mysterious thing. Again, I mentioned how we don't really have a lot of trains where I live. And so trains have always been this thing I know about. This thing I've seen, you know, when I'm in the car, you see trains go by uh, the, 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 the crossing, whatever, the train crossing. And I've always been very curious about them. Like, I never knew much about them. It's just, like, always a mystery to me. Like, what is, what re what's really going on? Like, where are they going? You know what I mean? Where are they dropping off? What's in all those containers? And as a kid, I remember, uh, this, this game really brings back memories, man. Uh, as a kid, I remember playing with, like, my model train set. You know, had it going around the, the Christmas tree. You know what I'm talking about. Um, and that, it also, I think where it all started, though, when my, my train curiosity all started from Thomas the Tank Engine. I think that's what they called him. That TV show. They also had the toys. I played the heck out of those. <laughs> um, and I think that's where it all started, is from there, uh, playing with those. And uh, from then, it's like, yeah, you know, I didn't grow up to be the, the old guy who liked to have all the train sets. That's not me. Not really interested in that. I'm more, ooh, uh-oh, what happened there? More interested in, like, uh, more of a hands-on approach. I think we're stuck. No, we're back. More of a hands-on approach. And I guess I feel like this is hands-on. I can actually control the train. I can drive through this virtual world and kind of experience what it's like to be a, tr a train driver, I guess you would call it. Um, you know, but, yeah, it's always been kind of... I'm just curious about it, you know. I've I've, I've tried uh, some other train simulators on my on my mobile. Those exist. Um, that was okay. I think I tried uh, one before. I think I tried one train sim before on my PC when I first got it, and it was trash. It was horrible. I don't remember the name of it, but it was the worst. Well, I, I say it's the worst, but I've only played like two. This is technically my first one, but that was like a try. Um, but. Uh, it was like the worst. It was definitely the worst. It was the graphics were nowhere near what the screenshots showed. Um, just very disappointing. Let's check our speed here. We're at 111. We can go a little bit faster if we want. There's a nice station there. But with this one, I mean, I wouldn't say that some of the screenshots I've seen. I'm like, there's no way you took that in game. But it's possible, I think, because I think if you get the good, the, the right angle and the right lighting, this game could actually be photorealistic at some points, um, but not all the way. If you look really closely here on the left side of the screen, on this rail that we're kind of riding the camera on right now, it's kind of like this popping, like the shadow ends, like not very far back. And I have my graphics settings turned all the way to ultra, to max. I have my graphics maxed out, and uh, I would love to see that shadow kind of just go farther back there, go into the, go down, like it's not really that far. Let's just draw the shadows a little bit farther. And it's the same way looking forward. Can't really see it from the inside because it's kind of dark. Uh, if you look from maybe this camera, just move it up. Again, you can kind of see the rail has like this, the shadow is kind of continually popping in. You also, if you, once you get in the real long sh flat stretch, you'll see trees popping in. You see the, the, um, the fences kind of popping in as the resolution gets better. And I kind of would like to see that more like farther down like i feel like you could definitely fit that in um again my graphics set is going to turn all the way up my distance is all the way up you know so i shouldn't be seeing that issue um that's just a small little graphic thing that i saw there not a huge deal doesn't completely kill it for me but i can't unsee it uh, but for screenshots you can take a really dope screenshot and really kind of uh fake it pretty well <laughs> to be honest with you
But anyways, I know people are gonna ask me though, what do you think? Like, what do you think? Is it worth it? Like, is it a great? Is it a good game? Um, just from again, I haven't really, I haven't got to do any cargo stuff yet. I want to do some freight uh, stuff. We might do that, and I may, we might do an episode two where I do uh, another drive with uh, some cargo and stuff like that. I know that I have a bunch of DLC for it now, and uh, I want to kind of just, I want to give it a, a fair chance. Uh, so I'm really not 100% comfortable with saying whether like I would recommend this game yet. I kind of need to, right now it's all new, it's all fresh, it's all new to me. Um, I have no experience in the past games, I don't know what the past games were like, I don't know where the, where the, I don't know where the train simulator bar is set, like I don't know who's setting it, you know what I mean, so I can't say it's a great game because I haven't played any other. <laughs> um, but I can say so far I've, I've enjoyed it. My favorite thing to do on here is taking screenshots. I love being out here on this outside view, you know different angles trying to find a, the dopest screenshot <laughs> here and there the motion blur i'm not a a huge fan of the motion blur they have going on it gives you a pretty cool effect in some of the screenshots definitely does look at that that's pretty cool um like i don't like this here you can kind of see the uh the actual wheels or whatever you call them they're kind of blurry right there. I don't know why they did that. I feel like it's kind of unnecessary. Very nice. Right, how far are we now? 11 miles. I think we should make it on time. We're only 102 miles an hour, so we can speed up a bit. I think we're going uphill. Yep, we are. But so far, it's a pretty chill game, man. It's pretty chill. Pretty chill. Did I hit a button? No, we're good. But I think what I'm looking forward to the most, and the types of trains that I'm into the most, I like passenger trains, I do like that a lot, but I also like doing some of that cargo stuff, because those are challenging with, uh, you know, dealing with the weight, weight distribution, braking with all that weight behind you, uh, going up and down hills, down, up and down hill gradient, stuff like that, and I have some friends who are, uh, nowhere near train fans, they don't, they're not, they don't like trains, they don't understand why I would even play a train simulator, and I understand that, um, but, uh, some of the challenges that you would deal with in a train simulator, and I'm learning uh, that now, is uh, one is managing your speed, which you've already seen me try to do now. We were speeding a little bit earlier. Uh, also, uh, stopping on time, like actually stopping at a station without overshooting it. Um, that can be a challenge, especially if you're coming off of 125 miles an hour or something like that. I'm going to go max now. Um, and also, getting places on time which uh, if anybody knows me in real life is actually a challenge in real life <laughs> so uh, we're, we have it looks to be like five minutes before we get there it's 1949 we gotta be there by 1955 hopefully we get there on time um, that's why I'm kind of speeding up here because we're still eight miles away but uh, yeah so getting places on time stopping there without overtaking the station you know watching all the speed limits because the speed limits change all the time uh, yeah, like those are really the main challenges it seems like so far and then if you're doing cargo or I guess you would say freight uh, I assume the challenge there was kind of the same thing just it just kind of elevate it's just harder because you have so much weight uh, behind you and you have to manage that speed and all that kind of stuff so I'm looking forward to doing that matter of fact we'll probably do that next time maybe I'll try doing a, uh, a freight mission uh, in the next episode here uh, but let me know though, guys. I want. I'm curious how many of you guys are interested in train simulators, Train Sim World 2020. Do you have the game? Are you interested in the game? Have you ever considered playing it? You know, are you considering playing it now? You know what I mean. I'm kind of curious what you guys think about it. Um, how did I do on my first day on the job? I think that's why they gave me an empty, uh, an empty uh, train because they was like, hey, I don't know about this guy yet. I don't know. He's we've never worked with him. You know, I know he came from the, from the other. Uh, I guess the smaller trains, the slower trains, but he's never driven this one, so they gave me a, <laughs> they gave me an empty just in case I, I completely screw it up, you know what I mean? Uh, let's check our speed here again. All right, we're a little fast. Go idle again. But uh, yeah, we're four minutes away, five miles to go. 
Hopefully we can make it there on time. Hopefully. Again, that's one of the challenges. But I think honestly, once you like kind of sit back and just chill, like it's a pretty chill game. I mean, you can just kind of ride the tracks. One thing I also noticed is you can just join a free roam and you can literally just like, like it spawns you at the station and you can just hop on whatever train you want as a passenger and just ride around, just hop on different trains from that direction to the next direction and uh, just kind of spectate almost, just kind of live in the world rather than actually driving in it. Um, which is kind of interesting, you know, I think a lot of people, some people are, are into that role play part of, uh, of the game and, and want to just, maybe you don't want to drive the train, maybe you just want to ride the train, maybe you just want to ride the train and enjoy the view. Uh, maybe you don't have time, like for me sometimes I'll be working on something else on my laptop or somewhere else and all I want to do is maybe enjoy some scenery and I, I'll do that with flight sim as well sometimes, right? Uh, and once you get in the cruise, you're cruising for hours on end. And so you can just enjoy the view while you do something completely different, watch a Netflix series, whatever it is you want to do. And you can do the same thing here uh, where, you, you know, you don't have to actually be in control of the train. You can allow, jump on another train that a, the AI is controlling and just ride that thing. All right, we're still three minutes away, just under three miles away. I want to keep our speed up to make sure we don't slack off too much here. I don't want to be late. We do have a speed restriction coming up here soon or a new uh, speed is 95 miles an hour. Uh, it's slower than we're going. I don't really know where that starts. Does that start here? No. Okay, so I think that's what the yellow signal means. I think the yellow signal means the next signal is going to be the speed limit. So let's go ahead and bring that to idle here and hopefully get this thing slowed down. Maybe even apply some brake. We're uh, 700 yards away from that speed limit. I think is what that means. I think it is. All right, a mile and a half away from our destination. Tonight in the, I believe we're going to Reading or Reading. You guys can correct me how to say that yeah we're going way fast so 90s where we need to be we're gonna apply some brake Ooh, too much way too much a right, mile away now next speed limit is 60 so it's kind of getting us slowed down here I'm gonna apply full brake full start yeah something like that and we're gonna be just in time it looks like all right see so I'm gonna go ahead and allow that uh, I'm gonna do full service braking here because we're going to probably end up stopping right, give us some horn, right in time. I'm not familiar with the stopping distance of these trains yet. Alright, hopefully we can get this thing stopped in time. We're at 50 miles an hour, 40, rolling in, giving them the horn. There's just like nobody, here's a ghost town out here. Alright, I'm going to bring the brake back to running. Let it roll to the end here. We're at 9 miles an hour, slowing down to 8. Brakes are releasing. Let it roll to the end so we can get the whole train on the platform. And be careful not to roll past that red signal ahead of us because you will fail. It's happened to me before. <laughs> oh, and it's hilarious when it happens though. Alright, I think I can pull it now. Full service. Come on, stop, 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 stop. Okay, we made it. Unload passengers. Sheesh. I thought we were going to roll past that thing. It happened to me before, or I was like, okay, yeah, like we're here. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> right on the time, too. Gotta love it. Let's open these doors up. Hit tab. Unlock the right side, I believe, is what we want. There, the door's open. Welcome to Reading, guys. First day on the job, success. Look at us up there in the front. I think this is our only stop today. I don't know if anybody's gonna, anybody's gonna get on. I don't know where the where this driver is. I think we have, is that one passenger? Are you getting on, lady? Not sure. Guess we'll wait to load the passengers and we'll find out. Very nice. I love all the reflections on the trains. Kind of a I wonder if I need to turn down my anti-aliasing or something like that. When you get real, like, yeah. It doesn't look bad. It's a good looking station. Are these stations out here? I don't know if this is how the real life stations look. Like, I don't know if these are model after real life stations, but they look really good. And I would believe that this is a real station. We have a few passengers getting on. But you see what I mean? You got all these people walking around. Actually, it looks like they might have, uh, got off a different train. 
All right, move to exit, disembark from service, and header and head for the station exit. All right, so we gotta go ahead and get off the train. Now, should I turn it off? Or I guess she didn't say turn it off. I guess I'll leave it on. I guess he's on the way. I'll keep the seat warm for him. Uh, I gotta go to the right this time. Very nice. Yeah, so I like that. Like, I like I like this. Like, I, I like being able to finish a route, get out the train, and then go home. <laughs> you know what I'm Let's go ahead and walk off. And I'll really quickly, before we get out of here, show you guys the the back. Make sure. So, yeah, I could, like, sit here and just kind of, like, chill. I mean, I don't know if I would stay here. If I stay here too long, I don't know if the guy's actually going to show up and leave. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but... I do like that you can kind of come back here. You can walk around the, the uh, this area. Let me go ahead and turn this off. Actually, we did have one guy in here. Hey, man, look how tiny. There's no leg room in this thing, man. Oh, man. What class is he in? What class is this? Standard. Come on, man. I need to get you a better seat, bro. Get you some leg room. Get you some leg room, buddy. All right, there's a bathroom here. I don't think we can go inside of it. The toilet. The sound also changes now that we're no longer near the actual engine. It gets a lot quieter. There's another guy back here. I don't know why these guys chose the tiniest seats. <laughs> I think that's far enough. We'll go ahead and exit here. Very nice. Successful on first day on the job. And uh, oh, look, hello. Another train just arrived. That one has people in it. I wonder if I can die in this game. You know I have to ask. I have to ask those noob questions. All right, I think we gotta go here. And up the stairs we go. Good night. Quick and easy. Go this way. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, like, I love driving the trains, but, like, I don't know, like, this is definitely adds to the experience to me. I don't know where we're going. Okay, we're done. All right, so our square today is 5,739. Time taken, 31 minutes. Distance driven, 35 miles, 500 yards walked. Cool. So London Paddington and Reading Platform are reading. And, uh, cool. So, success, guys. Thank you so much for watching today. Let me know if you enjoy that. If you want to see more train sim on the channel. If you don't, you could also voice your opinion uh but until next time guys remember you got three choices give up give in or give it all you got peace love and god bless you see you next time next video peace